there is an experiment given he is looking at mediators from clotting cascade and basically he is looking at what does factor 12 does okay it leads to activation of factor 12 and factor 12 causes activation of calicrine enzyme okay this calicrine enzyme activates high and low molecular weight precursors and later part we can see that they are asking what are these precursors right that's why always be the last time first they will be asking about precursors at the end so we have that they will be asking about these precursors now let's read for that it was this precursor works by contacting visceral smooth muscle while relaxing vascular smooth muscle this doesn't explain much but they are a primary associated with hypersensitivity and can cause increase in capillary permeability pain and mobilize leukocytes guys they are talking about bradykinine is this not clear they are talking about angioedema capillary permeability means there will be edema in the surrounding this is angioedema this is bradykinin and we already know that calicrin makes you know calicrin enzyme is necessary in bradykinin generation for those of you who have never heard this word i have a wonderful figure from first aid this thing forget all this this is all the clotting cascade you can read it in your hematology lectures but let's focus our year on kinin cascade so calicrin breaks down you know factor 12 activates you know inhibits c1 esterase inhibitor which leads to inhibition like c1 esterase inhibitor usually inhibits calicrin but factor 12 inhibits this calicrin you know c1 esterase inhibitor which will lead to activation of calicrin getting it got it this is tricky one i know so calicrin will cause high molecular weight kininogen and also low molecular weight kininogen to convert into bradykinin this will cause vasodilation permeability and pain so they are asking this thing what is this thing high molecular weight kininogen so the option answer is d got it thanks for watching please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more